Hello YouTube, my name is Ricky. Welcome to my channel. I'm a big cigar fan and I've just started recently collecting cigars as of about a month and a half ago. Um, and I wanted to show you guys what I have so far. Um, I would love feedback if you guys want to leave comments. Um, I've never uploaded a video to YouTube so just bear with me. I'm using my phone right now. Let's see. Um, I started collecting these cigars, like I said, about a month and a half ago. I um, have a few boxes with a few select cigars in them, and I'll go over them. I guess I'll go in order of, I guess, sh shittiest to, to the premiums, or whatever you want to call them. Um, I love suggestion. If anybody wants to leave a comment, or if anybody sees this, uh, suggestions on cigars what I should get next um, I bought most of these off of the um, make me an offer portion of cigar international um, a lot of samplers uh, I've only bought one box and uh, I'll get to that later but uh, yeah let's dive in here um, I think the starter one should be right here this is my um, what people would call what people would call buddy box. Uh, let me move this. Sorry, once again, I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. Uh, okay, my buddy box here. Um, let's see. I have a couple of Rocky Patel Connecticut's. Got a couple in here. I guess I won't take all these out. Um, the Edge Connecticut by Rocky Patel. We have uh, the Vintage 1999, I believe. Uh, Rocky Patel. I think I got the Mellow, uh, Rocky Patel Mellow Sampler. It came with those three. Um, what else? These, um, these seem to be the, uh, the Cinco Vegas. They seem to be the, uh, the freebie gift from Cigar International. So I actually never smoked one of these, but I have it in my, uh, my giveaway box for now. Now I have a couple Gurkhas in here and I think I got a good deal online. I got a bunch of Gurkhas. I got the Titans, the Beauties, the, um, what else? The Beast. Um, I got a bunch of these cigars and people seem to not like them. I've only had one Gurkha and it was the, uh, Gurkha, um, Gurkha Beauty. Um, and it was all right. It was a little bitter in the beginning, but it mellowed out. Um, another cool thing I've started to notice that my palate is uh, changing a bit. So a lot of these uh, that are in here are Connecticut wrappers and lighter stuff. Not all of it. You know, the Titans and the Beasts and the whatever. But uh, I'm starting to um, move on, I believe. Don't get me wrong. I still like a nice mellow cigar from now and then. Now and again. All right, I'll get out of here for now. Um, the next step, um, how about these? I have some flavored. So Cigar International screwed up and gave me um, a bunch of Drew Estate uh, cigars, flavored cigars. Um, came in like a 20 pack and they told me to keep them. So I did. And um, so I got a bunch of Drew Estate. Look at this boy, this deep dish. I guess it's the same flavor as the Cuba Cuba. Flavor so nice, I named it twice. This one's good with the coffee in the morning. Um, this one's good too. My shit's falling apart here. So yeah, a couple flavored sticks, you know, in case a friend comes over and they say, hey, I see that you are um, got some cigars, you know, I want to try a cigar, yada, yada. And... Uh, I usually hit them with one of those because I know cigars can be kind of rough your first few times. Sorry. Once again, I do apologize for the terrible video quality. I, uh, I'm not used to uh, running a camera here. So, all right. So, we got that. I got a couple more flavor cigars. These are delicious. I like anything Cameroon. I realize that. I believe that's African, some sort of African wrapper. I just got these. These Cameroons. These decades, I haven't tried them yet. But anyway, I had this boy, uh, these more uh, flavored stuff for the, uh, 
you know, not just for the noob. Sometimes I like a nice flavored cigar. Anyway, um, so moving on, I'll go to this one next. This is going to fall over every time. Let's see here. Don't want to bounce around. Um, so like I said, the only thing I bought a box of so far are the Oliva uh, G Series in Toro. Uh, Toro is probably my favorite size. Um, they're really good. They're a really good stick. Uh, they're a good everyday stick, and I got a good deal on them. Uh, once again, Cigar International, so I got the whole box in here. Um, my Probably my second everyday stick are these uh, 1875 boys. They're really good. This one is a weird... Got a weird uh, wrapper on there. But all the other ones are in pretty good shape. You'll notice um, I keep a lot of them in the uh, cellophane. But I uh, <clears throat> tend to do a couple out of the cellophane. Um, just for scientific purposes, I guess, just to see what happens for aging purposes, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I got a bunch of these in here as well. These 1875, uh, these, uh, Robusto or Bellicoso, I don't know what they call them. Um, and under that, I just got 10 of these, uh, these, uh, Reserva Real Romeo y Julieta. So yeah, this is like my everyday box. Um, if I don't know what I want to smoke or I don't want to smoke any of my goodies. Um, not saying these are bad by any means, but that's what I go to. Um, also, if you're wondering, I got this uh, humidor at a uh, flea market for like 10 bucks. And I got that CAO bag for like, he gave it to me for free actually. So... Uh, Got to start somewhere, right? Anyway, moving on. It's all cluttered, I'm sorry. Let me see here. Let's close that up. So anyway, this one um, my girlfriend bought for me. This humidor right here. Um, I think it holds about 120. This one's pretty nice. Um, so on the top here, let me change hands. Um, these are awesome. These for Tellos, I saw a lot of... I don't want to name drop, but I saw uh, someone named Nick uh, Lambretti, JR Cigars. Um, he was talking these up, so I had to buy them. <clears throat> we got the Rocky Patel 1961s, the Cohiba Dominican, uh, Robusto. Like I said, I just got five of these boys in the mail. These Decade Cameroons, haven't tried them yet. These Alec Bradley uh, Prensados are the beast niece super good one of my faves these aging rooms i believe it's the f55 it says original i don't know if it says f55 on there anywhere i don't know if anybody can tell me if the original and the f55 differ or if it's a size thing sometimes they have weird size names um i smoked one of those but i uh didn't have a great experience with it. I think it was because of my humidity levels. Um, what else do we have in here? Okay. Like I said, people, a lot of these came in samplers. So um, I got these. this Perfecto sampler. came with a bunch of these. This is a um, Diesel Rage. I got a couple of these. Um, what do we have here? La Herencia Cubana. Not Cubana, though. Well, not from Cuba, anyway. Haven't tried that yet. I haven't tried the diesel yet. Um, I actually smoked one of these today by Zykar, which made my uh, my uh, cutter over here. Um, I had one of these today. They were actually pretty good. These are the bomb. I gotta watch what I say on YouTube. These are the bomb.com. Very good. Uh, Man of War. <laughs> Um, this, I don't know if it maybe didn't age well, or not age well, but I didn't let it sit long enough in my uh, humidor when I first smoked this. It was pretty heavy, and uh, I've smoked some heavy cigars so far. So, I'm willing to give this another shot. This Ave Maria. Um, smoked a buttload of these. I like Monte Cristo, the White Series. 
Got a bunch of those. Um, let's see. This these came in a sampler. Oliva sampler. Um, we got the O. I already smoked the G. That's what made me buy a bunch of them. Um, this is just a Oliva Connecticut. Uh, the Oliva um, O in Maduro, I believe. Um, and then the uh, Master Blends by Oliva. Uh, more money. Christos. This is the CAO section. <laughs> um, got a couple of Talias in here. Let's see. I'm going to move it over. Uh, Brazil. That was good. I smoked that one. These are the Double Maduros by CAO. I haven't smoked that yet. Kind of nervous. Just kidding. I'll smoke it. Uh, don't mind me. I'm a little goofy right now. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I have no clue why I'm making a video. I actually do. It's because I was just watching a video. And uh, it was entertaining. I don't even know what these are. These CAO. I'm, I'm assuming... Uh, I don't know. Don't make fun of me, people. I'm a month in. So we got two of those. I'm going to try that, that out um, soon. Let me get these out of the way. Uh, I just bought these. The Lost Art. The Prensado Lost Arts by Alec Bradley. I just got five of them. They're sitting up here. The Toro Box Press. I don't know. I heard they're not good. Uh, not as good as the 96 rated uh, Cigar of the Year of 2000. I don't know. 11, whatever it was. Uh, more CAO. This one comes with the cedar thing. Got a couple of those. Got to smoke those. Love these. I smoked one of these on um, on the 4th of July, the Flatheads. Got about 10 of those puppies. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh, and under these, sorry. Um, more Gurkhas because I bought a buttload. I don't know what to do with them. I guess I just smoke them, right? <laughs> I got the Titan, the Beast, the Beauty, and... Um, like I said in my other box, I have the uh, regular Gurkha, I don't know, Connecticut? Anyway, Monte Cristo, Medianoche, um, Churchill, Big Bully. That's a good one. I just smoked one of these uh, two days ago. The regular classic series Monte Cristo, Churchill, Big Bully. And that should do it for this box. Wow, 12, 13 minutes going on. I'm sorry, guys. I'll speed it up. Um, got the V-cut, the punch, bunch of lighters, free lighters, free torches that they're giving me. This was free. All these torches were free. Um, that was not free. Okay, last but not least, my uh, my last box. So I am a huge fan of my father. You're going to find a lot of my father stuff in here. Uh, La Antigüedad, whatever, however you say it. Very um, vanilla, my bad. Um, got a couple of these in this size um, from a local store. De Le Beju, very good. That was, I think this was my first cigar I've ever smoked, which I know uh, probably not the best choice, but screw it. I don't think it was a bad choice. Made me like cigars. Um, the La Gran Oferta. The Grand Offering. Um, and then, what do we have here? Another um, La Antigüedad. I don't know how, how to say that. Different size, though. Uh, looks like a double Corona. I don't know. These Don Pepin by my, fa my father. Delicious. I got a buttload of those. Um, and, yeah, more of those. Uh, at the bottom and that's it for the my father selection on this side I don't know what this is doing in here I think I'm gonna smoke this soon I haven't smoked an 8.5 yet though Maduro uh, it's got a pretty crappy leaf on there but I've heard once again through a lot of reviews on YouTube that these are the bees knees cats pajamas so I plan to do that next I'm letting this age. I've been told that this is the bomb. Liga Bravada. And I also want to buy uh, maybe a couple nines. Uh, number nine, Liga Bravada. That's a T52 though. And last but not least, the Padronis. 
Um, we've got the 1000 series. I think this is the, I don't know, one, the 3000 and the 2000. A couple different sizes here, a couple different flavors. And last but not least, um, which you've all been waiting for. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Padron 1964. Uh, funny story, so I bought a big purchase from Cigar International, and they, uh, sent me two boxes of these. Um, both in natural. The Anniversary Exclusivo, I think the Exclusivo is an awesome size. Uh, I actually haven't smoked one yet, but I gave one away, so that's how nice I am. Um, for a friend, for a birth his birthday. So, um, yeah, I've been told to let these age and that these are the bomb, and I can't wait to try them out. So, uh, that's about it. Now that this is a mess, oh, my back's killing me from bending over. Uh, I get to put them all away. Uh, I smoke about one cigar a day, and, um, yeah, that's about it. So, if you guys, uh, have anything to maybe recommend i would love to hear it uh other than that i will, will continue to smoke on and um yeah that's all for now see ya